to Living 808. We are here at the Ferguson showroom for today's Hawaii's Kitchen. Today we're featuring Burgers and Things. It's in Pa'oa uh, near Nu'uanu and it just opened uh, just over a year ago. I've got Liz Watanabe to my left and we've got executive chef Ernesto to my right. And you guys are co-owners, right, of Burgers and Things. Okay, now Liz, everybody knows you from your, uh, your hot confectionery boutique uh, with delicious goodies, right, all the sweet stuff. Um, how did you guys come together to work on Burgers and Things? Actually, uh, Chef Ernesto was the corporate chef for Waihata for 13 years, and I bought my cheeses from him when I had the O Lounge and Harbor Court Bistro. Okay, so that's how you guys met. Yeah. And voila, Burgers and Things now born, mm -hmm. right? Uh, for people who have not been to the restaurant yet, can you tell us a little about it? Well, we uh, started our small business uh, August 1st of last year. It's been a, a magical ride so far. Uh, my work wife <laughs> keeps me very, very busy. I love that, my work wife. Okay, that's like Tizel's my TV husband, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Now, it's, it's burgers and things. So what, what are the things? Well, you know, there's a misconception of burgers being what we do, but we also have things. And one of the things that we're going to show you today is our Triforce potato salad. It's our version of a cold potato salad. We don't serve fries because we do better. We have our cold version and our hot version of potatoes. Now, I'll let Chef Ernesto tell you about this wonderful salad. I'm excited. Uh, yeah. What are the ingredients? So, so this, uh, this salad is actually composed of uh, three different types of potatoes. You have two... Uh, waxy varieties, which is the purple sweet potato and uh, the regular sweet potato, and um, uh, the starchy variety, which is the regular russet. Okay. So, if you don't mind, can I get started? Yes, please. Yeah, very, very simple. What's the first this step? is one of our most popular salads to accompany the burgers. Okay. So, first thing we have is some wasabi powder. Wasabi powder? Uh huh. Okay. A little bit of Jerez vinegar little fancy word for sherry vinegar. Okay. Just mix that up. Nice paste. All so, right, while you're doing that, I want Liz to tell us more about the restaurant. You guys are open Tuesday through? Sunday. Tuesday through Sunday, so only closed on Mondays? Mondays. Okay. Monday's actually our bake day, so we're not truly closed. Okay. <laughs> we're she just really not has got you from. working hard, right? <laughs> that's what wife do, uh, the, that's <laughs> yes. what they do. And she does, does it very well. <laughs> okay, cracking the whip, I know. <laughs> okay, so what did you add there? I added a little bit of uh, our balsamic vinaigrette, a okay. little bit of our homemade pesto, and you could bo uh, uh, buy a store-bought pesto. But what I'd like to add, Trini, is that every one of our sauces are made in-house. So our vinaigrette, balsamic vinaigrette, is made in-house. The pesto is made in-house. Everything that we make, even our terry sauce for our burgers Ooh. and our jus sauce. And we'll get into that when we make our burger for okay, you. Okay, great. So, uh, can, we, can people buy your pesto? They you could if they pre-order. Okay, good to yeah. know. Some homemade mayonnaise that we make also in-house. Some little bit of uh, chives and um, chopped parsley. Okay. As you can see, it's very, very simple. This looks good, though. We're almost out of time. But what you do then is just add all the potatoes? Yes, just add all of the potatoes, like okay. so. All right. Mix all that Mix together. That okay, that looks so good. And then do you just put that on the lettuce? Well, actually, we serve it to you um, in a... Uh, we serve it to you on your plate, accompanying your burger. Now, this is an amazing salad that has a wasabi pesto base. So you're going to have a little bit of that tang, okay. but it's nicely tapered off because of the purple sweet yam. Okay, I can't wait. Um, in our last segment, I'll go ahead and taste it, but it looks delicious and it smells really good. So thank you so much. What are we making in our next segment? We are making Wagyu burgers. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Chef. You're welcome.